Hello everyone, welcome to MQL5 Academy. In this YouTube channel, we are going to learn how to make algorithmic trading system robot. We also learn how to trade with this and we are gonna also work on some strategies as well and almost everything about algorithmic trading. So we will be learning and talking about it. So this is my first English video. I usually have Turkish videos for Turkish people because I am also Turkish. From now on, I am going to record some English videos as well. I hope you like it. So let's get started. I would like to start. So what's algorithmic trade? Automatic system that produce buy or sell signal or open a position instantly according to predefined condition we are programming. Here we shouldn't forget this automatic system does not trade by itself. The condition has to be defined someone. So this is the one of the reason why most of people are scared of the algorithmic trading systems. So they think these algorithms they trade by itself without asking, you know, without without thinking, but it's not true. They only trade when the condition are true, when the predefined conditions are true. This system only does what we want them to do. So nothing more. Uh, so we should be clear on this. And also, uh, it does not have to open the position. You know, you, if it, according to your uh, codes, it may only give you a signal when the condition has become true. I mean, it's not necessarily has to trade instantly. And let's talk about what's the advantage of these algorithmic systems. Why many people like to trade with auto automatic way instead of trading manually. In here, the, the first and I think the biggest advantage of these systems, the psychology does not have any psychology. So in the financial market, so when the money is an issue, we always get emotional and we are more, more likely to give the wrong decision when the money is an issue. You know, when your profit and loss are, are changing so fast and you are about to lose money or you are about to, to gain money. And your, your psychology does not let you to give rational decisions. But this system, they do not have the psychology. They only look for the, for the signal according to indicators or the price without even thinking about this. If the conditions are true, it's open the position. If the, the conditions are not true and doesn't open any, any, any position. And here, so we can easily separate this. The secondary is the speed. The algorithm are always faster than the human. Let's say you have defined an indicators and you are waiting for the indicators uh, to a certain move to get in the trade. Within the millisecond these parameters has become true. The algorithm has opened the positions within the millisecond. But the humans it's always gets late like two second or three second maybe even late when I mean, these algorithm are checked conditions maybe 25 or 30 times in one single second which means uh, every time that it checks and when when the conditions has become true it's open the position instantly the third ones are the product the, the financial markets are so huge there's maybe maybe billion products to trade person they only trade maybe just a few products at the same time but these algorithm systems they trade maybe 10,000 or 3,000 products at the same time without even getting tired but a human as you know you they, we, we can only trade for a, just a, a few of products and we cannot even open a position at the same time so this is also one of the advantage of algorithmic systems and they getting tired so we are human and we so one when we work we want to take a rest from time to time let's say so you are day trading and you you wake up in the morning in the first a couple of hours so you trade well and you performed well maybe afternoon so you are not going to be able to feel as energetic as in the morning and maybe your trading systems Will not work anymore if especially the afternoon because of the, you start to get tired but these systems there is nothing such a thing there is no getting tired so it's it trades the same way 
where it just it started and also the market is open 24 hours uh, especially international markets such as forex and cfds it's they never sleep it's open 24 hours let's say when you are sleeping at the home so maybe you are missing an opportunity or you can't be in front of the computer so all the time but with this algorithm once once you define it so once you set it up so it's going to to work until you want them to stop and we can also say the last one the optimization and backtest so let's say you have created an expert advisor so you have creating an algorithm to treat and so you want to learn how they performed so with this system so you can easily see if i set this up the last year how much profit i will make or how much or how much lose there will be and so you can also see this let's say uh, your strategy works on 15 days moving average and also you want to you want to see also 16 days or 7 days the moving average so which one should be the best for the making a profit so you can also see and you can also know which, which was the best best parameters for for your experts i have covered for the advantages so right now let's talk about what's so what disadvantages i think the first disadvantage is the coding you know lots of people are they have never coded before or they 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 only have the basic understanding of the programming so this might be an issue because you know to be able to write this code you have to have at least basic understanding of the programming if you don't have any understanding of the programming you may feel that you get in lost among the codes so we can say this is the one of the disadvantages the secondary is the commission the expert advisor works 24 hours they can trade maybe thousands of products at the same time this does not mean so good also this is there is also a disadvantage of it the commission as long as you trade and open a position or sell the positions so you are paying fee for this transaction uh, you, if you define your robots to trade more and more so which means that you are going to pay and more and more commission so this might be the, the second disadvantage of it so where can we use these systems the first one is the arbitrage arbitrage is buying one product at the low price and selling it at the same time within the higher price to another markets let's say you have noticed that there is a different prices for the same product at the different markets you want to buy it from the, the lowest price to sell the high highest price to another market so here so you can use the arbitrage but the arbitrage is not easy to make so it has to require so high speed maybe even the millisecond I mean this arbitrage opportunities may be missed and so this makes the, the algorithmic trading is the necessary for the arbitrage and especially at the arbitrage the algorithmic system can easily dominate the humans because of the speed and the second one is the trading just like the most of the traders they may trade according to indicators according to moving averages or any other price level or in this youtube channel so we are going to focus on the trading so instead of arbitrage or uh, other other places that we can use the third one is the crypto exchange debt and there are more than thousand crypto markets in this world and there are also more than three thousand crypto coin to be able to make this transaction efficiently i mean the people should sell each other to to make this transaction but it's not easy to find every price level to buyer or seller and here uh, the algorithm works as well they buy or sell to each other when the someone comes and demands to buy or demands to sell and they can sell the, these algorithmic system as well the last one is the high frequency trading the high frequency trading is based on speed is they look for to to catch the first step of the market or catch the first price these systems are only efficient so when they when speeds are too high the high frequency raising so we can also 
you know the high frequency tracing is also used for the arbitrary light system i would like to talk about the percentage of the market volume of algorithmic trading i got this chart from the wikipedia and as you can see there are almost to 75 or 80 percent of the market volume are made by the algorithmic systems but here so we shouldn't forget this is the volume of the market uh, if someone has a huge capital and they trade with large amount of money they may easily dominate this the volume side most of the retail clients they trade manually or the huge funds they use the algorithmic system they can easily dominate these numbers but we shouldn't forget the trend is up it keeps improving it keeps growing in this section i'm going to talk about metacode surfer and this is the company that has established metatrader 4 and metatrader 5 in the back our youtube channel are based on metatrader and we are going to teach how to make a algorithmic systems over the metatrader 4 so that's why i would like to talk about about this company so it's a russian company it is established in 2000 at the 2005 they released metatrader 4 and metatrader 4 started to use from the lots of brokers and almost all around the world it has been so popular and five years later after that and the, the company has released metatrader 5 instead of metatrader 4 metatrader 5 are used for local markets as well so that we see metatrader 4 are mainly use it for fx market for forex but metatrader 5 are used for local stock markets futures options and there are many more products are available for the trade and here you can see the istanbul stock exchange has an integration of the metatrader 5 the traders can trade borsa istanbul der derivative market for the over the metatrader 5 platform so I just have given this example because I am from Turkey and if you check you may see that there are other local markets that they use this MetaTrader 5 as well. And here you can see some of the biggest Turkish companies and over the platform Coca-Cola, Pegasus, Turkish Airline and there are also other companies and this is the, how the platform looks like. So right now let's talk about the Metacodes language MQL5 I and mean, this is the Metacodes language how it looks like in here so we can create our expert advisor our unique indicators open position sell position almost everything that we can do at the MetaTrader 5 so we can also do here as well and why we focus on education so i believe this market has the potential and it's going to grow and started to use from lots of and lots of people so that's why it's important to educate to each other and to teach to other people so and and so on uh, the otherwise just buying just buying the the ready expert or ready robots from the from the nether so it may not be sustainable for the market potential and the secondary is the fear and if, if, if you do not know though what the algorithmic trading or how to write the codes how they work you may fear from the robots the people are putting their money on these systems they're right to fear actually but if they know how they work on so what the algorithm does so i think they this is the way that they get get rid of this fear and the last one is the fear I mean uh, as long as the one strategy used so after a while they start to get not to work as well as it used to because the lots of and lots of people started to use this system or they noticed them this system and it will get weird i mean if you have the education of of the programming or creating an expert so you can always keep updating it and keep optimizing it this is the way of i think the education i think is the way of getting reading of this disadvantage as well this is my youtube channel how it looks like 
I already have videos in Turkish and with the Turkish students so we have come a long way and so so most of them they are start to learn how to write the codes and how to create an expert advisor and this, this was my first English videos but no worries so we are going to catch them up and I'm going to put a more and more English videos as well and so we came to end on our presentation and if you have any question about the algorithm trading about the YouTube channel so you can reach me via this email and I would like to, to answer and that's it for today so thank you for watching see you at the next lecture